Hey, good afternoon, guys. Rico here. Rico's Place. Ugh. Beautiful Saturday afternoon out here in California. 70, 75 degrees, I think. I had a, I had a craving for some pork tamales. So I got a batch of tamales all ready to go into a steamer here. I'm going to show you how I, I do my tamales in the Dutch oven. I think I'm going to use my five-quart Dutch oven today, up just right on the open fire. Hope you enjoy it. Hope you get inspired to do some cast iron cooking. I know my uh, my nephew Dutch out in Oklahoma, he started a series on uh, cast iron cookie on his uh, YouTube channel, Dutch uh, Homesteading with Dutch. Uh, find it, subscribe it. If I can figure out how to put the link to it in my video, I will. Funny thing is, Dutch was visiting me uh, right before Thanksgiving, and I took him to the airport, LAX, got him off. Uh, his his bag was pretty heavy. I, I, I don't know what he had in it. This morning, I went looking for some of my cast iron pans, and I can't find any of them. Now, I'm not, I'm not jumping to any conclusions or uh, accusing anyone of anything, but all I know is I'm missing about four frying pans and a couple of my smaller cast iron pots. And nephew Dutch, he all of a sudden is doing a series on uh, cast iron cooking. I'm no mathematician, but you do the math. Uh, let's see, we got heavy bag going to airport. Missing Dutch oven uh, cast iron utensils. Nephew in Oklahoma starting a series on cast iron cooking. Again, I'm not, I'm not going to make any judgments, but uh, I got to go buy new cast iron for some reason. All right, let's get going on this. Okay, first thing we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and put our little cake rack. It's going to fit right down in here into the Dutch oven. We're going to pour a little water. And we're going to take our tamales. Now, a lot of people like to stand them up, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set, ouch, set them in here on the rack. That should be pretty easy. We'll just let it sit there and steam. Oh, son of a biscuit eater. All right, guys. Yeah, sun's going down here, and uh, it's going about 5 o'clock. I had to get a quick shower and change, go into a hockey game here. So I want to pull these tamales off, try them, see if they turned out. And uh, maybe I'll get this video posted this evening for you guys when I get home. All right, so let's see how these are looking. Oh, those look, those just look totally, totally awesome. Those, oh, oh, son of a, okay, let me pull those off.
All right. Now let's see if we can get one of these. Try it. I'll try that one right there. Oh, that looks pretty good. Pretty good. Let's cut this thing open. Oh, mother. Okay, that, that really looks good. All right, let's see how this tastes. Oh. Oh my. As my buddy Madeira would say, man, that's just, that's just life changing. I put a little, ugh. Put a little too much spice in it for this old white guy. But I'll tell you what, Dutch oven tamales, easy. Get the friends, family around the fire, make s'mores afterwards. Don't put so much jalapeno in it. These are good. Need a little sour cream, I guess, to cool it down. I don't know. No, no, good. Uh-huh. Well, anyway, this is the tie-dye cowboy. Going to go to a hockey game. We'll see you all in the next one. Uh, enjoy your weekend. Enjoy Saturday night. Have a great Sunday. Salutes. Hey guys, Rico here. We're at a Condors game. We're going to kind of look what we're doing here. One of my good buddies came into town. Uh, 